Yo, what is up, everybody? How the hell are you doing? Scared the hell out of me starting that instantly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, how's everyone doing? Sorry. Exactly. Sorry about that. I didn't. I didn't mean to scare. You. Didn't mean to scare. You. Didn't mean. To... Sorry if I scared you. Sorry if I scared you. I, I, I was, I was trapped in a game for for uh, until somebody rolled a, a five or an eight. So. <laughs> Jumanji, right? Yeah, yeah. Jumanji. Jumanji. Yeah, there's an N in the middle there somewhere. <laughs> there's an A in there. And an A. There's a bunch of stuff in there. Uh, what's going on, guys? Uh, people trickling in. Welcome to the uh, the March wrap-up. Yeah, the March wrap-up. Yes, we know. It is April. Um, well, this happens sometimes. Sometimes happens we just sometimes. get busy. Or, you know, there was a holiday. Easter happened, so that kind of screwed everything up. Easter happened. There was just a lot of stuff going on the weekends and stuff. I mean, you know the deal. We yeah. tell you every time, you know, it's... it's I mean, we did. We haven't done one in a minute, but we have no. done in the past uh, a, a weekday live. Maybe we'll try that again at some point. Not, yeah. not, not making any promises, but well, we can always try that again. Mm-hmm. But uh, welcome to Evan. Welcome, Evan. Uh, John Browning. Welcome. Serge is here. We got Low Wang DC. What's up, dude? Uh, Trident the fan. We got Gil Da Costa. What's up, man? Mark Strauss. How you been? Some user. How's it going? Yeah, we know. We also know that tonight is the big WrestleMania. Oh, yeah. The second night of WrestleMania. I, I Listen, I knew that was happening this weekend, but when we planned to do this show uh, today, I completely forgot at the time. <laughs> it was, And then someone, I don't know if it was in the actual comments, or you can leave comments like on a, on a premiere like way yeah, ahead of time. That, yeah. Someone someone in there was like, wow, going up against WrestleMania night two. And I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah, there's night one and two now. I forgot that's like a thing for the last 10 years. I... I y- I that saw was, the post on Twitter. I was like, "Oh, WrestleMania is happening. We're good." I was like, "Oh wait, this is just day one." I wasn't even I wasn't even putting the two together in my head. Sure. I was like, well, "Oh, we we'll follow it." Yeah, uh, right. But I, I mean, I saw everybody posting about yeah. it, and but but like it was just like, "Okay, we got a free day. We can do it. Let's do it." Oh, absolutely. Kind of thing, you know what I mean? And the replay so, will be there. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so we got Wicked Tune in here. We got K Rock the Phantom. Brian uh, Sanchez, welcome. Brian Sanchez, what's going on? Uh, we got Parker in here. What's up, dude? Uh, my sister. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Uh, Steve Coates. Uh, Dave Dodson. 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 We got Dodson here. Yours here. Welcome for your. What's up, man? How's Dodson everybody doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Delayed reaction. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Jurassic Park. Yeah, one of our yeah. best episodes. One of our best episodes. Missed that one. I mean, don't look it up on YouTube because it kind of spoils the joke. Just yeah. go on the old audio podcast feed and look that one up. That was a classic April first I mean, yeah. episode. I guess. Sure. Just ruin the joke, Joe. <laughs> a four or five year old joke at well, this point. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, yeah, I'm sure everybody's heard it. Uh, yeah. If not, go check out the Jurassic Park episode. We get that one straggler who's like new to the show that's like going Every to the back months. catalog and like listening to everything. They're like, you motherfuckers, you made me listen to that. <laughs> I feel like every time, dude, it's someone that, like, has it on a playlist and, and is, like, working a job uh, where they can't fucking touch their phone. Uh, that happened at least once or twice, I yes. feel like. Read the comments if you do check out the YouTube oh, it's version. so funny. Yeah, so uh, so we got some fun stuff to talk about, but let's, yeah, let's see what everybody's talking about in the chat, because I saw a couple things I wanted to respond to. Um, Johnny Browning said he left the, re- the little wrestling show for this. Well, you got two uh, heavyweight champions of the world sitting right in front of you. Yes, we King have... Kong and Godzilla yes. on my shirt. That's what he's talking about. <laughs> exactly. Obviously, they got the belts already. Uh, I mean, again, the replay for us will be there. The replay yeah, for WrestleMania sure. will be there. Every so, Johnny, yes. you picked your poison, right? You do, well, and I was even saying before, you could watch both. You know, you That's can have true. the wrestling on in the background. We're we're to the side commentating like good old Jr. and and fucking Jerry the King. <laughs> Dating yourself with that reference. Yeah, there you go. Uh, even though I was totally making a JR joke earlier yeah. off camera. We only make J- <laughs> JR jokes. That we have King in jokes. the past. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and plus Johnny and anybody else that's, that's interested in the uh, the big wrestling show. I think he got a few hours before the main event. I think he got some time. The Rock still has to walk down the uh, entrance ramp yeah. again. I saw DX got inducted into the Hall of Fame. Is that Was that from uh, this WrestleMania? I think that was a while ago. I know Paul Heyman did, but that was the only one I was familiar no, with. No, like, I, I barely followed. It was like Triple H. It was uh, Road Dog. I think that's old. That's old. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I saw a reel and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Because I remember distinctly that Triple H got in like, again, back when I was following it more, yeah. more uh, actually watching the product. It was like Triple H got in for that. Then he got in for Evolution. 
And then I think he might have got in for himself. So he actually got in like three times. Oh, did he? Or some shit. Same like Flair. He's like the four horsemen. He's evolution. Right, right, right. You know, some of these well, guys Sean, are multiple factions. Shawn Michaels was there in the video too. So I didn't know if it was like all of them getting it at the same time. Well, there's like also. Like DX specifically. Right. But there's also that deep, deep uh, wrestling lore where like Shawn Michaels and and uh, Triple H and all of them were friends for years. Like there's a term for the, the group from the big walkout, the Madison Square Garden walkout. It's like them, Nash, and. Um, the fourth guy's is Razor Ramon. What? What was anyway? It, what was Nash's original name? The bull, Diesel. Diesel. That's what it was. I always yeah, say the yeah, bulldozer. Yeah, yeah Diesel. Uh, K Rock says you two are always hilarious. Thank I'm you. glad I caught this. Hey, thank you. Thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate Welcome. that. Welcome to the nineteen mid nineties, early two thousands <laughs> wrestling. The, knowledge. the fucking attitude <laughs> era, brother. The <laughs> best. The best. I mean, the I was, best uh, era. I was watching into the one after that. I forget what it was called. And the uh, not the PG era. The, the rel relentless aggression errors where I finally <laughs> fell off. I came back 10 years later and then fell off again. But uh, Evan Austin says, what what you drinking? Uh, we got some Guinness. We got some, some leftovers from uh, St. Patty's Day. Top this, of your evening for you. Top of the evening. Yeah. The fucking the sun's going down, big guy. <laughs> On March. It's over. Yeah, it's been over. Mm -hmm. In uh, fact, I need to do my taxes now that you mention it. Oh, we're running out of time. Well, there. You, well, it's it's coming up soon, yeah. man. Yeah. Uh, Dodgson says, um, <laughs> "Did you did YouTube actually do something right? And notify me for once. That's great to hear. That's fantastic to hear because we get a lot of people that are like, oh, we didn't get the notification or or we didn't get the email or whatever. Uh, so that's great. I definitely have noticed just yeah. in my my person on YouTube viewing pleasure, a subscriber of things. I guess is a better way to put that. <laughs> Other, other, a review yeah, of YouTube, mm. uh, but other channels that I follow will put out a video, and I have noticed that like I'll watch the video because I'm following them, so I'm looking to see if it's coming out. I actually go to the subscription button on on the app. I don't, yeah. it's there. Got it. Uh, and then I, well, I, I watch the video, but then I might not get the notification for like four or five hours. I'm like, I watch this like fucking six o'clock in the morning. I think that's what they're saying. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. yeah. So I think sometimes if we upload a little late in the day, yeah, YouTube because it sucks at, at its own system is all fucked. They might not push that because, again, what did I just say? So yeah. you might, the episode might eight air at eight, but they might not get the notification at 1 a.m. And we try as good as we possibly can yeah. to, like, upload a, ahead of the schedule as much as we can. But right. sometimes it's up to the wire. And that's why we that's why we did, like, last time it was on Saturday instead of oh, Friday. Yeah, yeah. It was like, we uploaded, we're like, fuck, you know, it's going to come out late and we want to promote that, it a little that's bit. That's the YouTube shit again. Yeah. I, I, we talk about behind the scenes sometimes, but, yeah. like. That is some hardcore behind the scenes. But anyone that's ever fucking uploaded anything yeah. to YouTube, like it's a struggle unless you have like, you know, triple digit fucking subs. internet. Well, that too. Well, that too. Because yeah. they do throttle the uh, smaller channels. Well, because uh, you gotta love that shit, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Anyway, for everybody who's like, you guys are huge and you've made it. Well, like, nah, we're still a little guy too. Yeah, no, we are. So, we're, we're a little guy. Yeah. An old Portlandia sketch popped in <laughs> we're my We're doing head. well though, because of all of you guys. Yes. But um. Low Wang DC says, Joe, don't want to miss a wing sauce is my new favorite sauce. It goes well on everything. That's awesome. First the of all, was that the barbecue sauce? Yeah. First of all, thank you so much for, for picking that up. That's cool that you got some. Um, that was and, the hottest one, by the way, and the it, Armageddon it pepper. It was the Armageddon pepper hot sauce. Don't want to miss a wing. <laughs> um, that was, I can't take credit for that. That, that was, was wife, yeah. That was Julie's doing. She, she was very uh, adamant about making it don't want to miss a wing and using the Armageddon pepper. So that was fun. Uh, but cool, yeah. Glad yeah. you glad you enjoyed that. Uh, a couple other people popped in here. Sean Laughlin, welcome. Chucky, welcome. Uh, Daniel Faw. Oh, Charles Lee Ray himself is here. Yes, I always just call him Chucky. I hope he knows I'm referring to I him. I think he likes to be called Chucky. Well, yes, he doesn't the like Lake Charles, Shore, the Lakeshore Strangler. We'll call him that. Uh, and yes, talks we did push a week. We just had fun going on. We had to push it up a week, yeah. Charles. Yeah, uh, I mean we've been, we've been pretty good. So yeah. Um, you will get one uh this coming Tuesday. Yes, in the next couple, you know, in the, two days. The old soft shoe. The old soft shoe with Paul Dooley. It's uh, uh, spoilers. It's a good one. That's one of my favorite episodes of season two. Get forward to that because it's been a while since we filmed that, so I kind of remember what I said, but I kind of forgot. Uh, it's fun. It's funny <laughs> as hell. We we really have a good time with that one. So, oh man! So stay tuned for that. Uh, K Rock the Phantom says I bought Blue Monkey on iTunes because of you guys. Great episode. Been following you guys for a while. Pretty sure I've listened. To most of your episodes, awesome. That's, that's awesome. That's that's so cool. That's um, part of doing the show, showing you guys these films, and hopefully you like them. Yeah, Blue Monkey was a great episode, and I I, I love that movie so much. So I'm glad that you found it and you picked it up and you enjoyed it. Is it? Where do you see Video Villa? They're probably in there oh, somewhere. They, oh, there they are. There's a lot of folks in there here. There they are. Hey, what's up? 
responding to our <laughs> Jim Ross res- uh, comment earlier going on King's famous puppies line. Yes, yes. <laughs> puppies, Joe Yo. Uh, he's not allowed to say that anymore. <laughs> Snoopy. Snoopies, yeah. I don't know about that. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's Becca and Logan. What's going on? Uh, who else is in here? Ted Bill. Did you say that already? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, Carl Redbird, welcome. Uh, Billy Mount the third. Not yes. the first, the second. I'll do it. I'll say it every time, baby. Uh, Carl Redbird. Uh, Blake Maddox is in here. Uh, Rick and Steamboat fan, apparently. Yeah, he's a fan of Steamboats. Mm-hmm. Steamboat. <laughs> Dan Belcher's in here. A lot of wrestling talk. I know we kind of brought it up. It's hard yeah, not to well, WrestleMania weekend, even if you're not a hardcore fan. Uh, <laughs> Daniel Fox says the MD era is now. Oh, yeah. Suck it. What is that even going to be? They just start dropping cum on the wrestlers <laughs> mid-match? What the fuck even like, happens? Like Carrie? Yeah, Granny's ringing the bell on the side. She just rings it in the middle of the match. No yes. one's even pinned. Yes. Heather got the notification, so that's good. Okay, cool. Uh, on that note, Cody Riggin, thank you very much uh, for the $5 super oh, chat. thank you so much. I uh, say, did you guys check out uh, Late Night with the Devil? Uh, my favorite horror film since The Witch. I have not yet, but uh, I it's on my watch list. I was supposed to go see it. I did not see that, mm. but I saw some other stuff that we're going to talk about in a bit. Um, and that, my friend, is a bold statement. So, um, hmm. yeah, I definitely want to see it. It's still on there. I actually saw a lot of stuff in a very short amount of oh, time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but we're going to talk about that in a second. Uh, that's a curious uh, comparison to The Witch. I think I've definitely seen stuff I've liked more since The Witch, but The Witch is a fucking it's a totally, a vibe, It's a man. totally different kind of movie, I would think. Right? Maybe. Protestant horror, man. Let me, let me like that. There we go. There you go. Live. I loved it live, Cody. <laughs> or Cody. One of us is right. There's two Ds. Yes. Um, Parker says, uh, I had some dumpster slime today and some pizza. It was quite delicious. Oh, man. Hot well, sauce on pizza. That's I'm some good shit. Glad you enjoyed it. That pineapple really comes out in that, doesn't it? It's really good. Oh, I had yeah, some uh, on some true. eggs this morning. It was very good. Um, I gotta crack them open, man. I haven't had anything spicy lately. Oh, you gotta put, you gotta put I got it on them there, a couple man. weeks ago. I gotta break them open. Low Wang got the ghost shark. The ghost shark was the was the least amount that we had, uh, quantity wise. So you're very lucky to get that Low Wang. And um, oh man, on chicken nuggets, that's a good idea. Yeah, Low Wang. That was the blueberry ghost pep sauce that we did. Uh, Tyler Evans says, "Well, I think did we say hello to Tyler? Well, hello, Tyler." And he says, "Keep up the amazing job, guys. Really appreciate that. Thanks, Thank man. Thank you." Gianna, hello. Yeah. Hey. What's hey, what's up? Uh, Common Ranger Zero. Hey, guys. Uh, always enjoy your work and hope to see more new movie reviews. Awesome. Thanks. We're going to be talking about some new stuff we got coming up for April, baby. Yes. Uh, what else we got? Hey, Rock the Phantom. The Diller would be a great wrestler. Yes, he would. <laughs> Somebody make that a no mercy. We're, we're gonna, I'm going to make it in WrestleMania 2000. <laughs> oh, God. Is there a cane prop? Oh, you use the Godfather. He's probably got there the cane. There you go. And the, the walk, pimp cane. When anything comes out. <laughs> or, oh or, or, the, or the fucking badass Billy Gunn where he like shows his ass. Well, that might be his actual theme. The yeah. music playing is the ass uh, man theme. I'm an ass man. <sighs> How many hours the... did I sink into that as a kid? A lot. A lot. I did. Yeah, I, I <laughs> many wrestling games. Nintendo sixty four all the way. Um, what else do we got? Oh God, uh, Joe's going through the chat for I'm the going, audio listeners. Yes, I'm going through the chat. You can't see me because you're listening. Like John Cena, he put the wrestling theme. There you go. There you go. Uh, Daniel Fall says Abigail has me excited. You know, hmm. uh, I was excited for Abigail until I saw the new trailer, and then I was like, Oh, oh it's this, it's this kind of movie. Hmm. I only saw the poster. It looks cool. Don't know literally anything about it. Um, it it, it it's either going to be for you or not because the way the tone, the shift in tone in the second trailer was like, oh. So I guess this is one when you would actually say probably watch the trailer. Uh, I might go see it. I, what's her face from Lisa Frankenstein's in it, and um, it's from the same dude who did uh, Re- Ready or Not, or I think Ready or Not. Hmm. Did you see that? Or hide and seek, whatever the fuck it's called, where, where the yeah. chick goes to the mansion and they play the game and she's like a sacrifice or something to like the devil or something. Uh, right. The name sounds familiar, but no, I did not see that. Um, it was okay. Uh, but it seems like it's going in a in a more... A direction you weren't yes. happy with, I guess. A direction that I didn't really care for. Sure, sure. Um, but we'll see. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll go see it. Um... And Sean Laughlin, I know you had asked, I think he even commented here, but I saw you asking about the first Omen. Do you want to see it? 
Haven't seen it yet. Just came out. Haven't gotten around to it yet. Yeah. Trying to this week, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna try, we're, yeah, we're gonna talk about that in a second because I do have some thoughts about that. Okay. Um, I didn't see it yet, but I, I'm just some preemptive. Um, diddler, diddler, diddler. <laughs> a lot of diddler <laughs> talk in the chat. Granny Van Dam's in there. <laughs> Uh, Common Ranger Zero says, "Question: We're gonna take a couple more, and then we're gonna we're gonna start talking about some other stuff." Uh, Common Ranger Zero says, "Question: Had you thought about doing a review of Batman and Robin or any of the animated DC movies?" So I actually um, have a, a fucking idea for the Batman and Robin episode if we ever did it. Uh, I'd have to hear the idea. <laughs> I Maybe. mean, I I really I, I I there's nothing that I I really want to say about that movie. I got a lot I could fucking say about that I mean, movie. It'd be yeah, a but, classic episode. Yeah, but nothing positive. I, I, it's just like, okay. I, don't, I don't care for it. That's all. There's a lot you could talk about in that film. You don't have to just say this sucks for an hour and a half. No, of course. But like, I, I just... The, the outside... idea is, the third person that would be a guest on the episode would mm. be for this movie's great. We've talked about it before. He's been on this show before. Who, not would, you, a, who would you Matt do? Matt Curion. Matt Curion from... Uh, loves, loves Batman and he Robin. Loves Batman I love Robin. the dichotomy of that. That That is my pitch if we were ever to do it. And yeah. that, that is the only way I would want to do it. Because I would love to hear his defense of the film. Uh, it's just... I feel like it's going to be one of those things where it's like, it's good because I like it. Shut up. And it's like, okay. <laughs> oh, no, I mean, it could be as simple as that. No, I mean, no. I, I, the idea I, is interesting to me. It's just not a good movie yeah I, you know and that and that's fine i i i guess what i'm saying is like i like it i like it Schwarzen- i like short schwarzenegger in it i like uma thurman in it it's just not for me um so i mean unless you I don't, re- unless you really wanted to do i it. mean and i could think of 15 other movies i'd rather cover i'm just saying like i think it would uh be one that people would watch and i think it would be funny yeah but yes if it is mostly just shit talking it then yeah it's been done before. I just don't I have a, I don't have a passion to talk about. Oh, it, let's right. put it that way. I used to watch it a lot as a kid, so I, I have a lot of uh, memories yeah. with it, for better or worse. I mean, it's 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 whatever. I don't. I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't yeah. have like low a, on the list. Is what you're saying? No, no. Yeah, well, yeah. I I don't have like a vendetta against it. I just. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nothing like that. Um, but uh, or any of the animated DC movies. Um, I don't know. We never really talked about it. I mean, Mask of the Phantasm is really good. I was going to say Mask of the Phantasm would have been kind of neat. You know what? Freeze one I kind of prefer personally. Sub-Zero? Um, Even if it's not as good, I like it. I, I mean, so it like might Freeze. be inter- just interesting to talk about Return of the Joker, the Batman Beyond. Um, yeah. I didn't watch a lot of that, so that might be something. I did. Did you? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I watched it, but I don't remember like watching a lot of it. I, me- sure, I, yeah. I remember a lot more of uh, the regular animated series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. Um. But that is an idea. I mean, we've talked about maybe doing animated films, but I feel like we've been saying that for a while. Yeah. Uh, we've, we've had plans to do them in the past, and I think at one point, one or both of us had COVID, so the one time we were, we had one locked in, it got moved and never refilmed, so uh, that's something to look forward to. We have some ideas. Yeah. We got we got some stuff. Uh, Dan Belcher says, just real quick, if yeah, you didn't yeah, yeah. end up on an ice cream sandwich bar, you weren't a real wrestler in my day. That's certainly the true. Hogan bars. Man, I, oh, I miss those, those cookie bars. They brought them back. And we bought them, but they weren't as good as I remember. Maybe because that's just like a nostalgia thing. Well, they <laughs> they brought it back as CM Punk made a big promo about it like 15 years ago yeah, or but 12 they years ago. They weren't the same, though. No. It was a gimmick. Yeah, but I mean, you could have just made them again the same, you know? Uh, oh, Daniel Fall, 100%. That, that's also why I want to do it. I want to just wear fucking blue paint on my face for an hour and a half. Because <laughs> you want to dress up? <laughs> I think it'd be fucking funny. It I is, don't know. It is funny. <laughs> Will it hold up for that entire runtime? I don't know. But yes, I would definitely be dressed like Mr. Freeze if we ever covered it. 100 fucking percent. Um, it could happen. McWorld. Yeah, no, you know? yeah, it could. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 I'm looking at some other stuff. I'm sure. Uh, I just want to scrub through this real quick. Uh. Yeah, Flicks and Friends animated films. Huh? Yeah, yeah. If you if you guys want some animated uh, film reviews, check out the Flicks and Friends podcast. Yeah, they actually have quite a few, and I think yeah. even Dissect That Films has done quite they, a few. They've done some Disney stuff too. I mean, we gotta we gotta pull the trigger on some anime stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, we were gonna. Do, I guess just to finish that though, we were gonna do a, a, one of the One Piece movies a couple of years ago, and yeah, I think that's could, one of us got sick and we couldn't do it. Well, we could still do that. I'd rather do a different one because I feel like I'm in the minority of people that 
didn't like that last film as much as the uh, rest of the population. We but... can do whatever you want. Yeah, no, yeah, sure. I want to do Wicked City is my pick. Ninja Scrolls one I always heard was Ninja a Scro- solid Ninja one. Scrolls a good one. Fist of the North Star. I mean, there's a ton. There's a ton. Yeah. Um, the, the Ice Age, Daniel. Exactly. <laughs> the Ice Age. Um, somebody asked, uh, oh, Adam Kirkendall said, uh, episode of Suburban Commando ever get a redo? That's, um, it, it's coming eventually. It's coming eventually. It's just got to, it's got to feel right kind of thing. You know, it, it's coming. It'll, it'll come back. I'll say this. Uh, I, I, I remember vividly fucking recording that. <laughs> uh, I remember that was the only episode. Well, one of two episodes I recorded on my bed because I didn't really have a setup yet. Yeah. And I was like, this sounds good. I'm sure it sounded horrible, but it, it sounded fine to me at the time. We weren't all the way moved in yet. And I remember going in the bathroom over there and oh. like hanging towels up like in the drop ceiling. In right, the to dampen the to sound. To dampen the yeah, sound. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've always had the thought that if we had a milestone episode, I guess the next big milestone would be 200 mainline episodes. Yeah. I think we're like close to like 160, 170. Yeah. Something like that. If you look on YouTube, it actually you could find out the exact number. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's when we'll finally go back to Suburban Commando. Yeah. But that's just the thought at the moment. We gotta we gotta tally them up because like all of the episodes together. That's what I'm like, saying. That's play- like, the uploads it says, you know. Yeah, well I'm saying much. if you go on YouTube, the main movie dumpster playlist yeah. is just the movies. So it yeah. you, that'll tell you right then and there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no Malone, uh, Wicked Tuna. That movie fucking sucks. I watched five minutes of it. They turned it off. That came up again. It, they just mentioned it in the comments. I, I know, but you came up the other day. Well, because I was joking about oh. bad movies. Oh, but yeah. yeah, yeah. That's just one of no the worst Malone. movies I've ever watched. I can't even make it through five fucking minutes. <laughs> it's just Fern Troyer doing the most low hanging. Low hanging fruit. I just fucking finished that. Thought. Yeah, low hanging right. fruit. Not little hanging just, fruit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jokes. It was on like Comcast. Dow, digital or whatever the hell it's called, Xfinity Direct or Ugh. some shit. It was horrible. Um, Almost as bad as Argento's Dracula. That's another one I had to turn off mm. after five minutes. Oh, I still want to see uh, Argento Panico. I didn't see that yet. Oh, the doc? Yeah, the documentary. Uh, but you want to talk about some... Uh, yeah, let's talk, let's talk about some stuff. You want to talk about like what's going on? Like What's going on with you? Uh, not much. Yeah. Uh, saw Godzilla versus Kai's Why wore the shirt. Oh, there you go. We both saw that. We talked about it a little bit uh, the other day, but not on camera. No. Uh, we can talk. I, I liked it a lot. I thought it was good. I I, I had a fun time. Um, I th- I think I, I didn't see it in IMAX. That was the thing. I like saw it in like a mm. uh, a regular theater. Um, and I think for something like that in the theaters, you need like the fucking like I needed like the Dolby Uh-oh. Vision or like the IMAX. I saw Ghostbusters in, yeah, in Dolby. I saw but... I saw Ghostbusters in Dolby too. And like um, it was fun. I mean, I had a good time. It 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 you know it's what I expected it was going to be, and it mm. was it was fine. I, 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 well, I don't want to spoil anything if you haven't sure. seen it. So, um, you know, I, I liked it. It was, it was, it, it's not, it's not this like drama, you no. know, driven film like, like, uh, like minus one is. It's totally different. It, like, picture shower era, but not as good, but still fun. Uh, sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not even going to debate that one. I haven't seen enough of the movies. What am I even going to fucking say? <laughs> well, a lot of people have been comparing it to that. I've seen that. And yeah. I think that's a pretty fair assessment in terms of like what, what, what you're in for, you know? Yeah, I just kind of, uh, I went into it with the mindset of like, okay, I rewatched the last one. I'm like, all right, that movie was fucking wacky. This one's got to be at least as wacky or wackier. And for me, it fucking checked off those boxes. Yeah, so I was the, happy. The tongue is firmly in the chain yeah, for yeah. sure. I definitely think some of the CGI gets a little muddled in a certain uh, certain couple of sequences when some gravity is involved. Uh, I think they're trying to overdo <laughs> it a bit in that sequence, but I was surprised how how much kaiju stuff. Kaiju That's why I liked it, I think. It. And like I really appreciate that because there was a lot of monster stuff. Um less, and the, less story for sure. But, but. like the, what's funny is the battles that I liked the most weren't the battles between who I thought. I, that's I, what we were talking you about. Know? Yeah, again, and without I'm, just saying it, which is kind of which is kind of strange because for I, those they should have been better. I think. Yeah, no, opinion. I get that. And it, for like the big bad, or even between Kong and Zilla himself, and stuff. Like sure. That. Uh, and and you know, again, I uh, I don't know why I said again. Forgot you can't edit this. No, uh, <laughs> it's live, baby. <laughs> cut cut it. out, Sean. Oh, you can't. It. Uh, I, the plot you know, or whatever you want to refer to what it has in the last film, even though that one is, is really wacky. It is there. Uh, whereas this one, it is more like, let's just get from point A to point B and monster shit is happening. Uh, yeah, you're not getting, like you said, minus one or even uh, Godzilla 2000, honestly, at that point. Uh, but 
monster shenanigans is what I wanted, and that's what we fucking got. So I was happy. Well, Spectre said kind of felt uh, Heisei. Is that what he say, right? Yeah, yeah, Heisei. I could see that. I don't. Was I that nineties? I, I don't. I don't think so. Um, in my opinion, uh, I, I think it felt more shout because it was too. It was extra goofy, and I mm. feel like I feel like the Heisei. Is it is it high sai or it might Heisei? be high sai? I don't know. I always fuck that up. Anyway, um, we don't have our translator off camera. Yeah. Um, I think uh, those were a little bit more serious coming mm. dovetailing out of uh, out of that. Um, you know, in, into the nineties, some of them. I mean, I'll say, I, not, look, they're still kind of goofy, sure. and there's still fun things, uh, fun like weird things about them. But I feel like um, they they take a more serious approach overall. I expect they're saying that's fair. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, it's definitely sillier. I like all the stuff with Kong in this movie. A lot of the the facial animation stuff, I think, is where they really nailed it in this one. Yeah, well, they, not that that's not in the last one or I mean, Skull Island. They but are fucking winking and smirking. No, they are. And like, hey. They're memeing, mm -hmm. which I didn't even think about at the time. But yeah. then you see it on Twitter and you're like, oh, yeah, I guess that was kind of like a meme thing. Uh, I don't care. It was what was the meme? Good. What was the meme? Ah, like the big monkey pointing is like that fit. You know, it's like a meme where a guy's oh, pointing. It's like oh. almost a one to one. I didn't even think about I, it at the time. I ran over my stuff head. Stuff like that. But yeah. anyway, it's a fun, fun uh, movie. Chris Bart. Ex <laughs> excited for whatever the fuck this third one's going to be. <laughs> if if it does happen, because Wingard's saying that they're going to flip the script for now where this one was mostly Kong and the next one will be mostly Godzilla. Bring, just bring on Guy. And I, just, I'll be happy. I heard he's doing Destroya and I'm oh, like, fucking bring it on, baby. Yeah, but like, we all know what happens at the end of that fucking movie. Okay, so. Yeah. I'm just saying, like. But, like. <laughs> as, as long as we don't have Millie Bobby Brown, we I'm just, happy. I, I think my problem is we just, like, with Godzilla, we went from zero to 100. Because it was like, here's Godzilla. And then here's well, the King second of the movie. Monsters. And he's fighting fucking King Ghidorah. And it's like, well, that's the that's the big, big, big one. Yeah, you I know mean, what I mean? We did that watch long. Yeah. I, I should just rewatch it outside of the context of. And also, that was when we did over the internet. So, I'm sure there was yeah. some. Uh, Something lost in translation, but I remember just not liking that movie much at all. I like the Rodan stuff. Goji looked sick. Ghidorah did look sick. It's just the plot just was like nails on a chalkboard. The, the for plot me. was actually pretty good for me yeah, for that okay. because I feel like oh, that's something that's lacking in in um the Godzilla, new one, Godzilla yeah. X Kong is that like human characters really don't have shit to do. Yeah, as much as they do, like the human characters need a human enemy. Yeah. And like, like and it's like basically and, Godzilla in this kind of. Well, no, Godzilla's the good guy by the end. But I'm saying they're fighting him a lot in the beginning. In the beginning of what? The new one. They keep shooting him and shit. Well, that's because he's gearing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I get what you're saying. Yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. Right. They don't have like their own. Like even in uh, Godzilla uh, versus Kong, they're helping with Mecha Godzilla try to take it out. On right, but they're they're doing something. Yeah, that's true. You know, and um, with like the old older Godzilla films, like the Japanese ones. It's usually like the human characters against like the aliens that are taking over or something, and I feel like you have to have that element in it. Like the guy, the guy from um, Last Action Hero, the bad guy, um, a Charles Dance. Charles Dance, you know, he was great in King of the Monsters in terms of having a human opponent. That's kind of that's yeah. They like eliminated that character. Well, that was kind of well. Odd. That's as close as you kind of get to that. Well, this guy wants to bring Ghidorah back and kind of control it sort of question mark yeah. and then like that's the opposing side because they want to like create anarchy and control the earth or some shit well and and to your point mm -hmm. uh that those are kind of the best godzilla movies yeah. you know that's why that first one is still the best one at least in my opinion because it's like the human story is the story yeah. godzilla is just the fucking and we got that with minus one right he, well, he's right, the yeah. he's it's the Jin. he's the looming uh metaphor for yeah. tragedy uh and the incoming uh the incoming tragedy for, uh, you know, Japan. Yeah. Well, well, uh, camaraderie and bringing everybody together. Oh, okay, I see what you're and saying. and banding together as a, as a country, which that's what that's all that's about. What and they it, needed. If yeah. you didn't know what that was about, right, Gojiro yeah. was about. Um, no, but I meant more like, you know, Godzilla versus Gigan or Godzilla yeah, yeah, versus yeah, the yeah. Astro Monster, where like, you know, in the Astro Monster, uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, in Invasion of the Astro Monster. You know, Godzilla and Rodan get like abducted by aliens and put on a fucking planet in a bubble, and, yeah. and they send Gigan and Ghidorah to fucking wreck Earth, and like they try to control Rodan and Godzilla. Like I don't know, like 
that's kind of cool. Like, yeah, I, no, I more, like that. more of that shit is totally fine. Just fucking do aliens. Like, it's hey, not a big deal. That's gotta be the next one. If you they know? don't do aliens, what are they even Just doing? Just do aliens. You need, you need. They gotta bring Godzilla to space. Get him to fucking space <laughs> for the big fight. I don't, I don't need a space. I don't need Godzilla in space. He just got done saying they lifted him into space in that movie. Why is it okay in that movie? No, they and put not a, the new one. They put him into on the planet. That's what I'm saying. Do that. Bring him to a planet. Don't not just fight in space. Yeah, no, I agree with yeah, that. Yeah, no, I thought you meant like fight oh, in yeah, space. No, don't do that. Don't no, make no, it like no, 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 no. Yeah, like transport him there as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They so um, we get drop kick somebody. I want to see that shit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Zero gravity drop kick, drop with, kick the fat, fucking... with the small headed Godzilla. <laughs> with that big old dumper dude. <laughs> fucking just drop oh, kicking uh, Megalon. He's like yeah. the Slimer popcorn bucket. He mm -hmm. just turns around and hits fucking Megalon with the ass cheeks, yeah. leaves an imprint <laughs> in his face. <laughs> oh, man. Godzilla. I, I, I still got to go back through all those movies and rewatch them because, again, I feel like even from my youth, I've seen maybe 10 or 12 of them over the course of They're 30. So good. Fucking something years. However, what am I, 34, 35? Now I don't, I've lost track of the plot. <laughs> I implore you to watch yeah. Godzilla vs. Hedorah again because it's really good. That's like I, that's like one of the. Best. I have to go back and hear what I had to say on Tony's show. You I hated it. I hated it, and I kind of felt bad because I I remember liking it when I first saw it, but yeah. I don't know. Very uh, very nice artistic element to that film, but it did not work I, for me at a rewatch. You know, and and like there there is something. One last Godzilla comment, and then we'll move on. But like there is something to say. Like when you go back and watch those, that's why I want to show do movies it, like to compare. You, like you have to you have to understand. You have to know what the fuck you're getting into, or you're just gonna be like, "This is corny bullshit." Oh, no, sure, and yeah. I, I, I realize that. I come into it from that mindset, yeah. and and then still make those comments. Well, but at it, least I know where I'm coming well, from. No, but with, with that being said, I think Hedorah is one of the more serious ones. Yeah, oh, um, it is actually. And, and there's some pretty terrifying. Uh, it's straight up killing people. Yeah, like that. That's I'll never forget that scene, man. When I first when I first saw that with Hedora like stepping on those like fucking little bungalows, and you oh, see yeah. the people like you usually don't get a ground perspective too too much. In some of those later wound ones, especially when they started gearing it more towards kids, um, yeah, and uh, you, they were just like fuck that, you know. I, I think June Fukuda did that one, I think, or Hideki yeah, Anno. That sounds right. Yeah, I might, I, I, I might have one of those mixed up, or I might be saying their names wrong. Uh, but besides Godzilla, I'm trying to think what else really has been going on. I mean, Ghostbusters. We did the review. Check that out if you haven't. Hear what we thought. Yeah, have my brother on for that. Oh, that was so much fun! Yeah, it was so it was so cool having your brother your brother on for that, and like getting to bullshit. With oh him. yeah, with Michael. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next time we got to get Kyle on for something. If we ever cover Rocky, we got to get we call <laughs> my brother Kyle. I mean, they both love it, but you know, balance out the uh, the MDU. I don't know. Am I gonna have Am I gonna have three fucking O'Rourke boys at the same? Well, time? Well, uh, we got to get a bigger dungeon first. Uh, but <laughs> we I'm get just another saying, microphone. if we go in order, we did have the heebie. We'd like to get my guys. dad on at some point. I might be kind of interested. We had we had four people for for uh, well, heebie jeebie TV. We made it work, so we can we can try it for sure. Yes. Um. Yeah. Oh. oh I saw Immaculate. Uh, oh yeah, you were uh, telling me Easter about Sunday. this. Sunday. Kind of interesting. It was very all days. It was very apropos. I mean, it was planned. No. Sh oh, you were like, yeah, yeah. this is yeah, what like I'm this, seeing. Yeah. This is, yeah. This, is, this is fun. <laughs> Get it? Get my Cadbury yeah. eggs. Yeah. Oh, Fill I them with blood. I had my Cadbury eggs. We had a nice breakfast. Then Julie and we took a nice walk, and then we went to go see Immaculate. Man, that was a ton of fun. Um. You seen it done a hundred fucking times, but it's shot really well. It has a whole vibe to it. It's very like seventies horror feeling. It has that kind of feel to it. It's done by I think Neon. Seventies. Oh, that's what you want. That's what I heard about Omen. Well, I think I think it, I think Neon uh, is a production company uh, who who produced that one. But um, yeah, it has a seventies vibe to it. But like the twist on it, I called the twist, but that's. It's it's not a big deal because like I was making me you excited because no. it was the kind of movie where you're leaning over me like oh, yeah. oh my god they're gonna fucking, they're gonna they're gonna do this is it this is it this? and we we're Julian and Julie and I had the whole fucking theater to ourselves so we were just talking and having a uh, it was it was a good time but um but yeah the end was it was a really cool twist and I and I liked it a lot so I think it's worth it for that I don't really like the 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 main chick the as an actress I think she's good I don't I, not a fan. I'm not a fan, and I like it better when she's not talking. Just want to look at her tits. No, I'm just fucking with you. No. That's like that's the thing on Twitter. Apparently, I know, and and where you, well, oh, she's you being used as a targeted ad. It's it's a psyop, Joe. It's a <laughs> the fraud. I'm not making it's a psyop. It's the thing, that's Alex like, Jones. The only reason why I made the joke uh, at all. No, it like uh, I mean. It's not. She's not selling. Uh, you see her breasts in it, but it's not like that. Like no, it's no, in no. a thing, and she, it, she's you see, like. Yeah. You need some more Sydney Sweeney. She, she's not. So, she has is that soul. her name? Yes. 
Sydney Sweeney, I don't like the way she talks. So. <laughs> okay. So it's not even necessarily her acting. It's just the way she comes across. Uh, I, 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 there's For some, you personally, there's just some, it's just me personally, no, yeah, and, that's, yeah, yeah. and that's how I perceive her as a person, which kind of sounds fucked up. I don't have anything against her. It's just I don't. No, it happens. You know. yeah, yeah, people leave the comments about my voice. I see them. Yeah, but I wouldn't. I would never like. <laughs> Obviously, I'm, I know. I'm yeah. playing into it, Joe. Yeah. I get what you're saying. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, but uh, but it was um, it was cool. I I wanted a little bit more from it, but I thought it was a fun time. And if it's still in theaters, go check it out. It's it's a good time. Is that playing everywhere? Do you know? Oh, I think so. I, think I, so. I would think she's pretty hot right now. I would say we also saw Kung Fu Panda the other day. Kung How Fu Panda was 4. that? Um, I liked it better than three. See, I only seen the first two. Oh yeah, man, two's my favorite. Okay, uh, but um, that first one's so good. It's so good. I love Kung Fu Panda. Um, we saw Kung Fu Panda four, and it was it was okay. It was weird because it was Is this like, like he gets cloned or has a mirror version. I only saw a poster. I didn't even see a trailer. No, 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 no. And like it's, I guess. Is it too much of a spoiler? I mean, kind of, but I'll right, well, hold the fault. Then. It's kind of a spoiler. All right, it's good though. There's a, there's a new bad guy or right. bad woman rather, um, that uh, that yeah may or may not be a sorceress. So I'll leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> um, but it's more like a passing of the torch movie. Oh, okay. Um, and I guess four in Jack Black's not yeah, getting any younger. <laughs> sure, and it's kind of, it's like I was fine with it, and if yeah. like that's the way they go with it. I mean that's fine. It's also kind of fine if it's the last one, because uh, we got we got four pretty good movies. We got two really good ones, an all right one, and one that's better than the last one. So it was a fun time. I mean, you can't ask for much more. I mean, no. really, on the fifth Despicable Me, if you count the Minions movies. So it actually, you know what? That's I pretty never, impressive. You know what? I never saw Despicable Me or any of those movies, and they actually look kind of funny because that <laughs> new one's coming out. I had the same conversation with my wife because we yeah. hate the minions and well, we you hate had... the minions, yeah. But like, I, I think they're fine. I think they're kind of funny. I just, I, I want to like pull the trigger and see if I, I think it, it would be. Good. Let me, let me know how it works out for you. I they think... do look kind of funny. It's just those fucking minions drive me up a wall. I think the minions as a meme and as like well, that a, they're as, worse because as of like that. a cultural zeitgeist thing. Is annoying. I, I just don't like that. Me, everybody, do, 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 do. Oh, the baby should... talk. <laughs> do, do, do. It's too much for me, man. I think that just maybe pretty... if I have a kid, I'll, I'll, I'll be like, oh yeah, I get it now. I think that shit's pretty funny, and they like kind of sure. like pull pranks on each other and stuff. It looks pretty. I get looks, the appeal. It it's just rating for me. Yeah, well, sure. Um, what else? I, I, I was saying, I was saying to Jules uh, the other day, I was like, this year is like a fantastic year for movies, like. Well, just yeah, like, everyone's back. COVID's in the, you know, not well, that never went away, but it's no. in the past as far as like the well, general public. The theaters, concerned. theaters are coming back and the theater experience yeah. is there and they're, and they're, there's a lot of movies that I just want to see. Well, I'm just saying, you know? uh, to piggyback off what you're saying, they're, just, yeah. they're making more movies now because yeah. I guess that's also meant by that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, movies that I actually want to go see. Uh, what were some, uh, you've got, we got Furiosa coming up. That's that going to be fucking so great. It's going to be a right for that, by the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, so, 100%. That, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to get the black soot on my face or not. <laughs> Something's going to happen. we got to get the spray, the, the oh, chrome. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll ride it's in Spray the paint. <laughs> not, no, it's like... Uh, it's supposed to be spray paint. Well, yeah, but it, the, you, oh, get, you get... like a fake like you, a sugar or whatever. It, it's yeah. like it's like uh, for confection yeah, spray, yeah, yeah, like yeah. a silver. Go full Nicholas Holt. Yeah, uh, yeah that, look, that looks so good. That looks good. I mean, Deadpool 3, or Deadpool yes. and Wolverine I did is watch coming the trailer. Out. Holy looks shit, that, funny. Look, that looks fucking great. I cannot wait to see what they do with that. I, I, I'm very curious to see where that goes. Uh, the superhero genre is in a very interesting place right now. Precarious, I would Precarious say. Precarious is a good word. Uh, they put out Aquaman 2. I heard it was okay, but it's also like, why bother at that point? Uh, I guess they spent so much money on it. Yeah. I mean, this is like six months ago and, now. And I but... think maybe in a vacuum, it's okay. Sure. I, I didn't see. I didn't see that one. Um, I didn't see the first one and I didn't see the second one, but the second one I was kind of like, all right, maybe I'll maybe I'll check it out. I think Black Mana is fucking awesome. That's I mean, Aquaman um, as a character, I feel yeah. like is unfairly shit on. Uh, if you ever read an actual Aquaman comic, it's pretty fucking good, actually. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be fair, I haven't read one in a decade, but I remember them being very good. Yeah. Well, they said that was a, you know, that he's always the ass end of the joke where he's like, what's your power? You talk to fish? Oh, they lean into that. <laughs> uh, I mean, no, Jason no, no. Momoa. No, I mean, oh, a as a yeah, whole, yeah, yeah. like you were saying, like, he like was super shit friend yeah. shit. Which is where that comes from a lot. Yeah. The old seventies cartoons. And they they also ripped on that in like the nineties. I've been ripping on it for a long no, no, time. No, I know, but like putting it into yeah, like cartoons yeah. and shit. Um, what else is coming out that I wanted to see? 
that's a tough question. I feel like I always like I'm adding stuff to my yeah, watch yeah. list on Letterboxd, but that, I have no idea. Monkey Man looks cool. Monkey just Man looks out. fucking awesome. I want to go see that. I already said First Omen a few times. First, oh, First Omen I want to check out, but I, I kind of have a problem with that. I don't, you know, I don't need another Omen movie. I you mean, know? I don't need it either, but it looks interesting. It look, it looks all right. I, I, I've heard it was good. I heard it was scary. That's all I need to hear. Yeah. So I mean, objective. Yeah, still. I, I want to check it out. Um, what else? It was something else that I that I wanted to see. Fuck, I just had it in my head. I don't know. There's a lot of good stuff. That's coming. A lot. Oh, <laughs> Sting is coming out. Bloody disgusting is doing like uh, if you guys want to jump on it, the, it and see because uh, there's supposed to be a um uh a, a showing of it. Um, like ahead of schedule, so so like uh, it's like a private screening, right? Uh, a, a press screening that Bloody Disgusting's doing, and they're running like some contest or something on their site. I don't know. We put in for it, so it would be cool. It'd be cool to go see Sting a little early. Um, there's yeah. By the way, I read the synopsis of that film. Like after you said, yeah, I signed this up for it, and I was like, is this guy trying to give me a fucking heart attack? The literal poster is a Black Widow spider in someone's mouth. I'm like, why? Are, well, okay, I guess if we get in, I'll watch it. <laughs> I definitely will be scared out of my mind and have nightmares for weeks, but sure. But hey, it'll make a good episode. I guess. Yeah. Well, there's there's actually. Look, I guess if it's scary, I guess they they point proven, right? Well, well, isn't that what you want though? I don't want to be that fucking scared. No, I do. I mean, I guess I'm already fucking on the hook either yeah. way. Uh, there's uh, I love that we're in like a nun exploitation. Yeah, we are. And spider. And the Conjuring universe kicked it off, Joe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh God, they did. That second movie's still good. Say what you will about the rest. I like the nun, but I can I understand the criticisms. Well, it's a little different. Nun exploitation and the supernatural nun are two different things. I guess that's true. Supernatural like, nun's more like a demon. Yeah. Well, Valak. Yeah, right. Right. That's a good point. It is two different things. Um. So with the Omen and Immaculate, you're saying right. Yeah, with the yeah, Omen yeah. and Immaculate, and then like we're we're like in a renaissance of like fucking killer spider movies, which I'm, I know, didn't even know that time is a fucking flat circle, dude. Because I think the last one we got was Eight Legged Freak. So this is cool to see. We got ice spiders. Can't forget about ice spiders. Ice Joe. spiders came out when we were kids, though. It came out after. No, it didn't. Did it? I remember ice spiders coming out like on VHS in the oh uh, whatever the one that was that we watched at Chris Bars once. It was like the horrible CGI. We were working on a script. Maybe it was long legged spider, CGI spider. It was fucking horrible. I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, but they look so fake they didn't bother me. Bring on those yeah. movies like Eight Legged Freak. They look so <laughs> fake. Who cares? Eight Legged Freaks is great. Uh but Sting is the one I was we were yeah, just yeah, talking yeah, about, yeah, yeah. which is like an alien spider that gets oh. bigger. That's what the plot is for that. But then there's another, I think it's a French spider movie, and I'm not sure what that one's called. Mm -hmm. I, I I forgot about it. But that one looks really good because it's about like spiders getting loose in a building as well, but they're regular sized spiders, uh, more more like arachnophobia, right? Because so, Sting, I guess it supposedly gets bigger and bigger. Yeah, so it, it like keeps growing and like, like a black mantis like, kind of thing, like spinning them up and shit, like spinning people yeah. up and shit. And that's black and that's really cool. Black tiger, giant spider from Resident Evil. Oh uh, no! Uh, uh 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 uh! Oh my god! Sorry, <laughs> put you on the spot, man. You're fucking that. me up. Uh. What's her name? I don't know. Someone I don't in the know. chat will probably get it before us. Well, they'll honestly. look it up yeah, or get yeah. it or whatever. I think it's like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, the Kingdom of Spiders. Thank Yon, you, Major Yon Blazer. Yon is the snake. I don't remember what the spider is. Right. Um, Big Ass Spider was great. Yes, Edward. Yes. <laughs> but so, oh, Big Ass Spider. Oh, that's actually a movie? Yeah. Oh, uh, I thought he meant the Resident Evil. Oh, uh, there was another one that Julie and I watched where it was, uh, maybe that was a Big Ass Infested. Spider. Infested. People no, no, are no, saying in the chat. No, not infested. Uh, the one where there's like it's like a um, it's like a god almost. It's like a spider god that they like release out of this uh thing. It ended up not being that great at the end, but it was it was pretty good, and it like holds up in the in the people's attic and stuff. It was pretty good. Hmm. Um, long legs is another one that has nothing to do with spiders, and that's that's a more I like, look up this ice spiders real more quick. like a religion. Style based like uh, who done it uh, thriller supernatural thriller thing uh, devil worship stuff so there you go again um, yeah there's two thousand and seven no you're you're saying that's we're kids in two thousand seven spiders we were kids in two thousand seven I don't consider myself an eighteen a, two, a fucking kid I that's guess a that's kid. just a youth thing yeah these spiders yeah. Chris put it on it sucked ass yeah it wasn't scary at all I remember seeing it in the video store though we were definitely working on oh, you know screams at the time yeah easy video had not closed yet I remember seeing it in there anyway uh, I mean it was 
16 years ago, so I guess I see your point, yeah. but I guess I don't think about it that way. Oh, yeah. stop making me old, Joe. <laughs> Why did I look that up? Um, And Adam uh, uh, Kirk and Dale, uh, yeah, that's exactly why I did not play the first Resident Evil for many years and then said, well, just play it, Sean. It's not that scary. That's it. Slunkster. Itsy Bitsy is the name of that movie. Oh, the one you were trying to think of. Yeah, with the spider god. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so so those are really cool. The French one, I forget the name of it. Um, I'm somebody already probably put it in the chat. Um, but uh, so I'm looking forward to those, the spider stuff. I mean, there's like so many. Like I'm like, holy shit! I want to go to the movies. 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 Um, which is cool. So, uh, I guess the only other thing I've really been watching lately that's like not a movie in theaters or on TV is like mm -hmm. I've been rewatching well, uh, the original X Men series because the '97 just came out. Oh yeah. And I'm like, I'm that crazy person. I've never actually seen the entire uh, run of X-Men. So I was like, fuck it, I'll watch it. They're oh, not that long. It's so good, man. I had the DVDs like when they put those out like maybe 10, 12 years ago. And I I, I remember watching the first two or three at the time. I still got my Pizza Hut tapes. <laughs> uh, right here, yeah. Uh, but I watched the first season. It's only 13 episodes. I couldn't believe how short it was. But uh, fucking great. It's and then so you good. get the Mr. Sinister tease at the end. I was like, yeah. oh, I got to keep watching. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it holds up great. Uh, Days of Future Past, holy shit, that's a great double parter. Mm -hmm. Magneto, I forgot how well developed it was in that series. Yeah. Just really holds up. Go back. It, it, I mean, it's still is a kid show. There's little things here and there, yeah, but, but like it's a very mature series. Uh, like there's a lot of things going on in there that are like, oh, I didn't well, it's realize. much like uh, I think I talked about this on the uh, Patreon mm -hmm. bonus, uh, Patreon.com/slash Movie Dumpster. There you go. Uh, we did the real Ghostbusters episode with my mm -hmm. brother. Uh, what was that? Cold Cash and. Hot water. Hot water. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mentioned on that how uh, all the Japanese a uh, animators, I never really put the two and two together. Same thing with X-Men. You yeah. can tell. You know, it's like every episode has a cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. It's like a fucking manga. It's genius. Oh, yeah. It's, I, well, it's, well, I don't well, know why they didn't yeah. replicate that in their other shows. Maybe I, they did. I just don't remember. I mean. It's, it's very well done. Yeah. Very Japanese. Yeah. But also like very American because it's X-Men. But anyway. So <laughs> I've been rewatching that. Maybe. Japanese animators. I mean, who knows? Maybe America production. American I, I didn't production. go do a deep dive on it. Just interesting yeah. putting those pieces together that I should have many years ago. Oh, 100%. Um, Valerie says, did you guys see uh, Godzilla Times Come? Yep, we talked about that before. Uh, we both liked it. Roll back the tape. When Roll we're done. back the tape. <laughs> You'll hear um, a whole spiel on Godzilla. Yeah, so um, you want to talk about what we got coming up? Do you have anything else on on your old huh, mind? There? I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Um, I beat Final Fantasy Rebirth. There you go. Seven. Oh, Don uh, Donkey Kong Mario vs Donkey Kong was really good. Oh, you played that? How was yeah. it? The remake? It's really good. Well, it, it's it not looked, really a remake. Well, it's a, 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 a upgrade or what? It's like the fuck a, they it's like an it. update of Donkey Kong. But it's really fun because it's like a puzzle game. Too. Oh, well, well, no, what I'm saying is that game originally came out on Game Boy Advance. You probably just never played it. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, play yeah. It. So it's oh. a remake of that game. Oh, really? I yep. didn't know that. Well, it was really good. Uh, yeah, I've, I played the one on Game Boy Advance. For oh, years. I didn't. Yeah, yeah, I never it's played it. It's fun, right? Yeah. yeah, like different puzzles and shit. Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, I like that shit. So, and it's like kind of like is that a Switch? E yeah. It's like an easy thing that we can both play, like me and my wife. Oh, yeah. Like, so you point do, at the thing. Or... Yeah. So you do, well, not point at the thing, but like, um, mm -hmm. You know, uh, you have to, like, get the presents and, like, shut off switches and turn the switches on and yeah. all this kind of shit. So. I meant, like, if you're playing, you know, your wife could be like, oh, go over there or vice versa. That's what I meant when I'm saying point that stuff. Like, oh, oh, get yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah we played. Like Burger yeah. Time or something. Yeah, totally. Um, there's There was that. And then we we, we started playing uh, Peach Showtime, which is, which is really How fun. How is that? I've heard mixed on that. I think it's a ton of fun. fun. I mean, I mean, I mean, what, what, well, what have you heard that was bad? I didn't really look up any video. I just oh. saw our former co-worker, Tim, yeah. PK Sparks yeah. on YouTube. He, uh, he wasn't a fan, but I didn't really do any re of my own research. I was just curious. I mean, I don't know what you're looking for in it. Yeah. I, I, I really, I really love the game design. Uh, okay. it's like, cause you're in this old, uh, playhouse, like not playhouse, um, Theater. You're in this old theater, okay, which is a kind of classic Mario trope. Even three technically is all on a stage. If, if you think about it, it feels very kind of. It feels very um, it's Mario sixty four in the way that okay. it kind of plays um, with collecting stars and all that kind of shit. You get different like abilities or power ups or something. You get different costumes, and then the costumes give you different abilities within the world that you're playing. Okay, oh, but so each, like Odyssey almost. Kinda. Not, when you not exactly. What's though. cool is you you're in the theater and you're going into these places. And then uh, it's all like a play. So everything's made out of cardboard yeah, or yeah. like rigged up with like line, uh, uh, wires and stuff from the, from the ceiling. And there's like lights mm. and then, 
and everything like spins like there's oh, wow. uh, it's really fucking cool. Huh. I love the design of everything. It's it's very neat. The whole aesthetic's cool. Um uh, but yeah, you're like uh you're like Ninja Peach and Patisserie Peach. You're making fucking cupcakes and cakes and shit. I saw her like Sherlock Holmes outfit. Detective, Detective Peach, Peach. Which, okay. is, which is really fun. They have Kung Fu Peach. <laughs> uh, they have like Power Something Peach where you're like a superhero oh, and shit. you're like punching aliens wow. and shit. That's kind of cool. It, Sounds fun. It's really fun. I don't I have I to mean, try it it's, then. It's low There's a demo, I think. It's, so. it's low stakes fun. You know what I mean? And the bosses yeah. are cool. It's more spectacle than it is a uh, challenge, but it's sure. fun. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I talked to people. I think it was my brother. Uh, he definitely goes for less challenge uh, as he gets old, especially if he's got a kid. It's like harder to really focus on something yeah. for a long period of time. I've gotten like the opposite direction. Like I love those cool off games, like just something to kill some time. Exactly. That's fun. That's exactly what it is. Cause I don't have time to like play sure. a whole fucking, a fucking thing at night. Yeah, so yeah, it's like, yeah. Oh, let's play a couple levels of this, you know? I'm just like in constant RPG hell lately. I mean, it's not really a bad hell to be in. It's like a, it's a fun hell, but it's like, ah, I should play a different game. Let's load up another 50 hour RPG, <laughs> uh, 100 hours. I mean, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, I think you could probably keep going for like 120 yeah. hours. I called Holy it. A, I called it at like 80. I was like, I didn't beat all the mini games. I'll probably, I'm going to play this again when part three comes out. So I'll just do it then yeah. or just never. And I'm still content. <laughs> Uh, cause like people will play all this, especially Final Fantasy seven is known for their mini games, which is why a lot of them are in the new one. Sure. Uh, but I ended up just, just, I beat it and then I started playing the original again. So there you go. There you go I'm man. in Final Fantasy land for the last Final <laughs> Fantasy seven specifically land for, for now months. Cause I, I, I beat the fucking remake, <laughs> then the integrate, which is like the in between. Then I played the new one. Now I'm back on the OG. So one day I'll get out of clouds of ass. <laughs> At Eric's ass and Sephora's ass, but that's where I've been lately. Um, that's why I haven't been watching as much. I don't want. It was yeah. also this thing where I didn't want to get spoiled because, like, I won't spoil the game even though it's been out for thirty years or twenty something years. But like, there's a huge twist in the original, and I wanted to know if they were going to change the twist or if, what, what were they going to do because they're changing some story elements. Did they, they change it? I don't want to say because the game's still so new. Oh, okay. Uh, however, it was one of the things I didn't. People were edging on Twitter. They were getting closer to revealing what happened uh, as the days and the weeks went on. So I finally just said, "Fuck it, I'm going to beat this game." And said, "All right, 80 hours. Just been, it's already a long fucking time. I'm not trying to say otherwise." Uh, but yeah, I just I, I bit the bullet. I made my second save slot so I could go back if I have. To. Oh but man, unbelievable game! If you're on the fence and you like Final Fantasy VII, what are you doing? But. Uh, I guess that's all I really been up to. Video games and the other shit we said a little earlier. I um, I got some new tapes and stuff. So so oh hmm. that's what that. Well, let me talk about one more thing because we're on video yeah. games. Um, one of my favorite games as a kid for Genesis was uh Mickey Mouse in Castle of Illusion. Oh, that's that, a good one. That was like one of my favorite fucking games, and I don't have I didn't have it anymore, so I grabbed it because my buddy was was selling it, so I picked it up for cheap. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting some time after this week to, um, to play that. That'll, that's going to be fun. I'm very excited to, to revisit that. Um, yeah, I picked up a bunch of tapes too. And um, when we're, I wanted to kind of segue into that into, sure. um, we haven't done like, a uh, a tour of the dungeon or anything oh, like that. Yeah. And the reason for that is because like what you can't see off camera and there and in here is like, there's just shit everywhere. There's like shit on the floor and there's stuff over there and, you know, a little BTS for you. It's not curated in any way because I haven't, we haven't, I, I haven't sorted all my shit out yet. Well, it's also not like an office. It is just, you it's know, it's not an office. It's your basement. It's my basement. This isn't, <laughs> this, this isn't a studio. This right, isn't, yeah. this isn't an office. This is, this is the room where like I hang out. Like the, the, the tube TV is behind the camera right now. Like I, I, this, I made this to play video games in and watch right. movies. And we just happen to do the show in here because it's aesthetically pleasing. But, you know, there's a lot of stuff all over the place. So, like, I don't really want to show you guys until it's like everything is where it's right. supposed to be. Or else it just kind of looks like, here's all my sh junk yeah, on the yeah. floor, you know. Uh, so there's that. But I do want to I do want to do that. Um, going forward, though, uh, with like fresh picks and stuff, like I have a stack. of. We were talking about this the other day. I have like a oh, stack yeah. of movies um, that. I'm going to make some time soon and, and watch them all. And then we'll do a fresh picks on that and kind of do like mini it, more like mini reviews for the disc and the movie kind of thing. So look, stay tuned for that, which was like the thought, which uh, was the, we did that first one. Yeah. The whole, the whole thing with, I mean, we've said it before, but we haven't really talked about it in a while, but fresh picks was like to highlight um, independent companies and stuff that we might've picked up and uh, actors and directors and stuff like that. So there's, a, there's, 
there's some cool stuff coming down the pipe for um for April and May con- concerning fresh uh, picks. Fresh yeah. picks. So so stay tuned for that. Interviews and stuff like that is also where that will live. It, right. And, exactly. Uh, that's that's what I mean. Like we talked about on the last live show, we uh, we're still working on. It. We just haven't had time to to finalize it, but the. Uh, Hotline will be coming back sh- yeah. soon. We have so, that compilation episode we're still working on. Yeah, we have all that stuff. We just haven't had a chance to do it because, I mean, we we focus primarily on making sure that the regular episodes are coming right. out and like talks on the dark side is coming out. Um, so not that they take a back seat, but it's just a yeah. priority thing. So they're coming. It's coming. Yes. Um, as soon as we can catch up and 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 get that stuff done. Um, where was I going with that? Um. Yeah, so so I just wanted to just bring that up and kind of talk about that a little bit. Um, and we want to do some more Patreon stuff for you guys. We've talked about that stuff in the past. Um, and I don't want to sound like a broken record, like it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. But it it will be. It's just it's just you know we gotta make we gotta make some more time to to do those things, and it hasn't been um easy to do that because of other things going on. Right. Yeah. As soon as you uh, find out how to clone uh, yourself, yeah. let us know. <laughs> as soon as you figure out how to work for yourself and not have to do anything for anybody else, let us know. Um, or the or the cloning thing. Or the cloning uh, thing. I'll take the yeah. cloning thing. You do yeah. the other thing. I'll, yeah. I'll clone myself. It'll be a lot more productive. Uh, unfortunately, we're not born with silver spoons in our mouths, so so yeah. Aw. <laughs> Dang it. Damn it. Yeah. Uh, Gianni, hello. Thank you so much for the five bucks. Thank uh, you. Have you boys ever heard of Dude Bro Party Massacre 3? Hmm. It would fit right at home in some way, shape, or form on your channel on Tubi. Um, yeah, I have. Um, I, have I have heard. Not. I've heard of it. I have not seen it. Um, so is, is there a part one and two, or is that the joke? <laughs> it, it, could, it could be a fun That's one to do. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But we'll check it out and we'll see, see what the deal is. Um, yeah, always, we, always open to check out new movies. Even yeah, if we sure. don't necessarily do an episode, I will watch it and, and find out if it was worth looking at. Well, again, that's what I was talking about with like the fresh pick stuff. That's not necessarily stuff that we do as oh, full yeah, episodes, yeah. but we'll talk about the, you know some of the stuff so you guys can kind of get an insight to what's going on and maybe stuff that you haven't heard of that you may want to check out or pick up, which is kind of the point of the show anyway. In general, in, in, yeah. in, in broad strokes, you know. Um, oh, there is something cool that I'm working on. I can't even tell you yet. I'm not even going to talk about it, but I have been working on it. Um, so stay tuned for a, a big announcement for that because that that's going to be fun. It has nothing to do with movie dumpster, but it's just a fun thing that I was working on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was thinking of something else that we also can't talk about yet. But what yeah. were you thinking of? The thing you you sent a picture of uh, to me and Connor. Oh 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 yeah. Uh, but yes, uh, no, that's coming. That's the only teaser. Getting. That is that is. That is until it comes out. Connor, Connor still gets the inside baseball. Connor's, Connor uh, still has the inside. He's not, he's not on the show, but he's still part of the dumpster, so he gets he gets the intel before you guys. Well, spoilers: Connor's going to be on the show oh, yeah. in in uh, June. But oh, don't yeah, you yeah. go busting his chops or or asking him what it is because he's not allowed to say anything. <laughs> um, it'll be a fun one. Just stay tuned. It's fun. The surprise is fun, right, guys? Um, but yeah, I guess with that being, did you have anything else you wanted to talk about? No, I mean I pretty much covered all the bases. Yeah, I yeah. Guess, yeah, we kind of we kind of bullshitted. Um, do you want to take a couple more things? Do you guys have any more questions you want to talk about before we get into uh, what's coming up for April and kind of what that looks like, and uh, and then kind of going into the wrap up? Yeah. Uh, Dustin asks, "Junky chicken shirt." Uh, Dustin, um, we may have scheduled the the the, the film that is associated with the shirt. Mm. Uh, wait another month. You'll it's, find out more than <laughs> it's a it's a May drop, baby. It's a May drop. It's a May drop. For real this time. For real, for There's real. There's some logic behind it. We'll tell you on the next live yes, show. Yes, we'll tell you on the next live. Well, the thing will be out by that time, but yeah. Well, that's true. Possibly. Yeah. That's a good point. Um, so stay tuned. Uh the chunky chicken shirt will come out and we'll also have more merch soon. I don't you know, it we can't it's hard to it's hard to promise you guys stuff because it's like, yeah, we want to do that, but like it, it only if the time allows we can do certain things. Sure. We're working on stuff, but it's just, you know. And and stuff like that, just because just Dustin did mention it in the chat, is like, hey, I know, Dustin, you want to buy the shirt, but if <laughs> we just put it out randomly without any context, I think you might be the only one that will buy the shirt. Uh, so, yeah, just just trying to make it make sense. <laughs> yeah, people wouldn't know what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I all. mean, there'll be a trailer and stuff for the, yeah, sure. for the, for the shirt and also coinciding with it. Yeah. Um, Sean Laughlin says, hey, Dumpster Boys, what's your favorite Silent Night, Deadly Night movie? I'm going to say the original. Probably one. The, the original. The, the first one is King, but after that, it's definitely five. That's my favorite after one. 
But five is the most fun. Yeah. Uh, I still haven't watched three, but four is pretty good, actually. Four is all right. We actually watched it this past uh, December, and it's good. It's just, it's not very festive. Okay. Well, it's like the whole thing was in, like, the lab or whatever, or the hospital, getting operated well, no, on. No, 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 no. Four, four is the initiation. Well, that's the one with Clint Howard. I'm sorry. Yeah. I misheard you. Yeah, yeah, yeah Three yeah, is yeah. the one with the guy in the- in, Three, three yeah. is Bill Mosley as- right. As um, uh, Ricky or- Ricky, yeah. Which is a good one because he's still a killer. That's the one Santa. I haven't seen. I misspoke. Um, yeah, uh, but the initiations it is a good movie, but it's not a it's not a great like Christmas horror movie. It has like barely anything to do with Christmas. It's like Clint Howard with those fucking slugs he's putting into people. It's and like shit. window dressing, but it's a good movie. Like it's, <laughs> it's fucking good. weird. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's, it's Brian Yuzna weirdness. So. Oh yeah, it is Yuzna. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, you can get that if you can still find it. I'd best Buy went out of business or something. The DVDs are gone. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> the Blu-ray that had three, four, and five was a solid purchase. I think oh, Arrow put it out. Um, no, it was Vest? Was it Vestron? Oh, it might have been. I yeah. think it was Vestron. One I of the boutique companies. Yeah, for yeah sure. I grabbed that too because I was like, "Shit, fucking three, four, and five and it was on like Blu-ray." 20, it was like twenty bucks. Yeah, that was that's a great buy. Um, a Wild Wrangler favorite pup master film. Hold that thought. Uh, w- without doing the deep dive, I'm gonna probably just say one. But um, I'm gonna say two, but that's that's nuanced. So sure. Um, we will cover Puppet Master. We, I know we've been saying that for a while, yeah. but that is definitely high on the we're docket. Letting, we're letting it cool down a bit because everybody seemed oh, to be talking we? about Puppet Master oh, like two well. months ago. So I was like, oh, I don't want to get lost in the shuffle. Sure. No, I get that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. And there was, um, you know, when Dead Meat does a fucking kill count and wow. uh, somebody else did a deep dive. Oh, on we it, talked I think. about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it'll be fun. Just wait for it. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know what? Just This is actually a perfect segue. Uh, Nathan says, yeah, 420 is only two weeks away from right. now. Uh, speaking of, if you're in the uh, Pennsylvania, Philadelphia yes. area, uh, the greater Philadelphia area on 420 or 421, come to the Philomoka. Uh, we're showing heavyweight. Well, we're not. Crip Video Rentals is going to have an event at the Philomoka, yes. and they're showing heavyweights, and we will be interviewing Goldberg himself. Well, Goldberg from Mighty Ducks. Josh. Josh Heavyweights. Yeah, Sean Wise. Sean Wise. We're going to be doing a Q&A. Oh, yeah, him. yeah. That's a better way uh, to put it. We're going to be doing a Q&A, a live Q&A with uh, Tony from Hack the Movies. Oh, uh, yeah. So it's going to be the three of us chuckleheads on stage talking to uh, Sean Wise. After they show the movie. After they show the movie. So, yeah, definitely uh, come out Saturday because that is the only night the movie's going to be well, shown right. and the only night that Sean Wise is going to be there. So make sure. I mean, go both days, but make That's sure true. you're there Saturday night. And those tickets are uh, exclusive for that day so like there's an entry fee that includes your entry fee for crypt video rentals and it includes your movie uh purchase as well right. so go check that out on the side i think it's like 35 bucks yeah, it's not that expensive it's not expensive you get access to the, the show and there's a lot of great vendors and a lot of great tapes and stuff and a lot of great artists there and toys and all kinds of cool shit you can buy in the interim and then maybe go get something to eat there's a lot of good places to eat there uh, yeah, I'm going to say distance. La Chanesca is across the street and you can bet your That's fucking a bit of a walk, but yeah, it's right across the street and you can yeah. bet your fucking ass. And we're going to be eating there before oh, we, God. before we do the, 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 the Q and a so, um, uh, or watch the movie rather. So, um, so that's going to be a fun one. So there's good place to eat. Uh, there's a great uh, stuff to buy there. And of course we'll, there'll be heavyweights and yes. then, uh, the Q and a with Sean White. So definitely check that out. It's going to be awesome. You can either just go to the Philomoca to get your, your uh, Philomoca.com. Yeah. Or .org, I think it might actually mm-hmm. be. Uh, or just if you go on moviedumpsterpodcast.com, we actually have a link like right at the top. Uh, you can click on that. It'll take you like right there if you want to get tickets. Yeah. Um, and also, just Google it. Yeah. Philomoka 420. Yeah, it's Heavyweights, there. you'll you find can, it. You can go to moviedumpsterpodcast.com. It's right in the banner. Yeah. You can click banner, yeah, buy, my, uh, buy tickets and it'll take you right to the, right to the thing. I haven't done web design in a few years and I already forgot one of the most basic <laughs> terms. Uh, but it's up there for your convenience. Yes. You know? So, uh, so... Either way, we'd love to see you. It's going to be a great time. So definitely come and hang out with us for 420. Um, we might do that. I was thinking, I was like, oh, because we're about to get into what we're doing for the oh, month yeah, of April. Yeah. But I was I was thinking to Sean, I was like, are, are we going to pull the trigger on the fucking N- evil bong? This, nah, this, you know, I was this literally month? thinking about that for the last two days. And I think yeah. we just, with this fucking heavyweights event and everything yeah. else going on, it just seems like too much. There's a lot of stuff. I'd rather just give it its own window next year. <laughs> it's not like anybody else is beating down the the hatches to do this fucking stupid Seriously. idea. It's not a stupid idea. I think it's pretty well, it's funny. It's stupid because it's funny. It's yeah. stupid funny. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Uh, yeah, that'll be a Patreon exclusive regardless. So that might have to wait till next year. <laughs> unless Tim has us back for another event and then I'll eat my own fucking shoe on that one. <laughs> I still would love to do that though. The, you know, get really high and review yeah. Evil Bong. Oh my God. For 420. <laughs> 
Uh, we'll take two more questions, and then sure. we're going to talk about what's coming up for April. So Dan Belcher says, have you seen Gothic with Julian Sands? It was the VHS uh, with sleep paralysis demon on the cover. Um, oh, yeah, uh, Gothic was the movie about the night that Mary Shelley came up with the idea to write Frankenstein. Right. Um, we're talking to Tony about that. Yeah, and there, yeah, there's that little... I don't, it's not Deep Roy. I don't want to say it's Deep Roy, but it's, it's a little guy on top of the, you know, it's that famous like painting. If you've seen the cover, you've seen, if you were a, it could uh, totally be Deep Roy. If you though. were, if you were a kid in the 90s and you went to the video store, you know the fucking cover. You've seen it a million times and it's creepy as hell. Um, yes, I've seen it. Um, will we cover it? I don't know. Uh, and the last one was Common Ranger Zero says, would you say Santa's Slay? Was a horror comedy or a straight up comedy? That's a horror comedy. I don't think it's very funny personally, but a lot of people do. I think it's definitely not just comedy. I think it's a comedy horror, and where yeah, it's, I guess where yeah. it's comedy forward, but there's horror elements. Yeah, no, I could see that. It definitely isn't just comedy. It's played for laughs. It's not played for scares. Yeah. So in turn, I think it's a comedy horror. Yeah, but I just I'm just saying it definitely is at least horror's got to be on there somewhere. Oh yeah, no, 100. percent Oh, without a doubt, without a doubt. I mean, it's Killer Santa Claus. If he doesn't murder anybody, then you might have a, you might have an <laughs> argument there. But he's straight up like killing people in the first sure. minute. Um, well, with that being said, yes. folks, uh, we're gonna wrap this up with what we got coming up for April. Um, so we just we were just talking about heavyweights for uh the show that we're gonna be at on 420, but to pregame. Yes. We are going to be covering heavyweights. What? I'm shocked. Oh, my God. Oh my God. We're going to be covering heavyweights with Tony from Hack the Movies. If you all are on Patreon, you already got the heads up that we're doing this. Um, this is going to be a really fun time. We had a, such a blast doing it. Um, and we wanted, to, we wanted to do it because um, it's, a very, it's, a, it's a very important film to us like as kids. Right. Yeah. And like... You know, we're not going to be talking about it at the show. We're going to be doing a Q and A with Sean, so it'll be fun. Sean Wise, I mean, it'll be fun to do. It, it it would be a fun idea to talk about the movie as a whole as an episode. So it was it was we had a really good time doing it. So that's coming at you, um, this coming Friday yes. or or this coming Saturday, depending either of those days. End of the week. End yeah. of the week. It's coming. So look out for that. Um. Yeah, it's gonna be a great time. That was that was a really fun one to do. Uncle Tony came on. Uncle Tony came on. He's a real uncle, and we were definitely feeling skinny with him. I'm feeling skinny, Tony. I'm feeling skinny, Tony. Uh, there's a lot of Lars impressions in that episode. Buddy. Yeah. There's it's, Buddy. Fucking strap in for the Tom Hodges uh episode. Yeah, that's what that is. Uh, that is definitely one of those comedy movies that is perfect for the dumpster. Uh, you know, love or horror, but mm -hmm. th those fucking family comedies. Those. Those '90s comedies, Joe. Kids, kids comedies, dude. Like, yeah. I, I mean, I'm. We were talk. We talked about it on the episode. I've seen that movie a million fucking times. Same. You know, and it's endlessly quotable, and it's still funny. And the whole catharsis of that movie is like, it's don't say it now. Do well, you no, it's mostly made for like oh. adults. Oh, so, well, okay. Fair. So revisiting it is just like so much fun. And not only, yeah. it's not just a nostalgia trip; it's actually funny. No, I think we even um, go into that. In yeah, the yeah, actual yeah. we do talk about it. We'll elaborate, but but yeah. But you're right, Dustin. You got to look out for Salami <laughs> Sam. Dustin and with Salami Salami Sam is my fucking boy, dude. Uh, fucking salami Sam is my favorite. I need a Salami Sam shirt. You know what's kind of sad? We, I didn't mention it in the episode because I didn't want to bring the room down, but he yeah. actually passed away a few years no, ago. No, he didn't? Yeah, he died. Oh. I'll bring it down on the live show, but in the episode, oh, I forgot to mention it. Shit. Yeah. I forget if it said why, but if you look him up. R.I.P. Salami Sam. R.I.P. to Salami Sam. Sam. Damn. I don't sucks. know why I saluted him, but he might have been Canadian. He could have been. I don't know. <laughs> but yes, we have another <laughs> film uh, that, that's uh, later, coming. Later, Nate. Love later, you too, Nate. man. Well, what's our second film? Our second mainline our se episode. Our second mainline film. Well, so we were so we're, we're on heavyweights, and we're talking about heavyweights. We're doing heavyweights with uh, Tim from Tapes of the Crypt. Uh, his show is Crypt Video Rentals, and he does that with Retro right. Release Video and Forrest and all them, and all those guys, uh, great gang of dudes. Um, make sure you get down there. I can't stress it enough. We're going to have a fucking great time. So make sure you come down on 420 and 21. So we're talking, and I can talk about it now, but Tim just released um, his new uh, announcements for all his different merch, and he just dropped his Harry and the Hendersons merch. Oh, okay. Um, and we I didn't realize that. We were talking about this back in Baltimore when, I, when we went to um, uh, the brewery there and did, and did Crip Video there. 
And I was like, hey, we should do that. So he just released that. So what you're going to get is Harry and the Hendersons with Tim Nugent from Tapes from the Crypt. This is going to be a very good one. This is going to be our second episode for April. So I'm very excited to talk about uh, this film, Kevin Peter Hall, Bigfoot in general, crypto, cryptids in general, and growing up with that as a kid and and all the kinds of good stuff that come along with that. So the TV show, the TV show. Yeah. Still can't believe that was a thing. Three seasons. Three seasons of Harry Looked and that up earlier. It's crazy. So the back's also kind of great because it just has the family photo. I yeah. kind of love that. Yeah, it's pretty. This, <laughs> this is a dog. One, so, <laughs> yeah, this is one of those things where, like, you know, uh, in our hallway upstairs, we take all, like, photographs from, like, different movies and stuff. Like, uh, oh, yeah. Like Laura Palmer or, like, uh, you know, Vigo's up there or, like, all that kind of stuff. And this is definitely one. For the, for the wall. Oh, upstairs. yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. That's when you just sneak into anybody's yeah. house, even someone that doesn't have any, like, decorations like right. that. Or, like, or oh, like, my family photo, it's the fucking <laughs> Hendersons. Or, like, Raul Julia on the horse in Street Fighter. Oh, God, like, yeah. Like, that painting. So, I um, think Justin Silver, I mean, I feel like he's been saying this for, like, a decade. He's like, I'm going to get that tattooed on my chest, Raul Julia on that horse. Well, Kieran needs, wants to get a print of it for his wall, and I oh, think well, that's really cool. Oh, well, the print's cool. Yeah. I, I'm down for the print, but on your yeah. chest tattoo, that's extreme. <laughs> I don't know. You're talking I, to, you know, get a ghoulie or something. You, hey, you? Yeah, I was going to say, you're talking to a guy with fucking ghoulies on his chest. It's not finished, so I'm not going to show you right now. But I can't it, wait to see the finished it, it's, piece. It's on there. Uh, our good friend, uh, Adam Lenhart. From uh, uh-huh. Hidden Hanya, from, who also was in is part of Hebe GB TV. Um, yeah, he's a tattoo artist. He's really fucking good. I forgot he was the one doing that. For yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. I would. I only trust him to do it. Sure. So, um, so yeah, look that up too. If you're a tattoo person and and you're in uh, Pennsylvania, definitely check that out. He, he's gonna be at Crip Video doing fucking tattoos. Oh, get yeah, one there. there. Yeah, that's yeah. True. Get one there. Um. So, so yeah, those are the two main episodes. Um. And for right now, we only have one Patreon thing. There might be a couple other things that we're talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, we just recorded today. I was like, we just did it. What are you talking about? Yeah, well, the one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're, doing a, we're doing a Deadly Spawn commentary track for April. Uh, one of my favorite rainy weather movies um, and April showers bring the Deadly Spawn, I think. I think that's how that, that's how that rhyme goes, right? Yeah, 100%. So we're going to be doing uh, the Deadly Spawn uh, commentary track for you. So we just did that. That was a lot of fun. So we hope you guys enjoy that. Um, and there's TBD uh, yeah, yeah. things. Um, we might do a, ma- a mini-sode. We might not. Um, we might do a watch-along. We might not. We might swap out the things. We didn't have, we didn't have a watch-along for March. Did we? Uh, we did not. We did not. Uh, we did the, we did the mini-sode instead. instead. Yeah. So sometime, sometime we're, we're trying, what we're trying to do is do a commentary track, mini-sode, watch-along uh, for you guys. We, sometimes we can't get them all out. So, um, you know. You got a commentary track coming to you, and you got two other things that may or may not come. You may you may have one or two more things. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Patreon. ideally we get all three, but in theory you get at least two of the three yeah. each month. Yeah, uh, and absolutely, and, uh, that's that that's at least the current uh, workflow, just with everything yeah. else going on with just our personal lives, our our day jobs, and yeah. just getting the main episodes out. And we even got some other things that we're not even talking about yet, like. Like May for the first time oh, in a yeah. while, we got May kind of figured out. Yeah. I think that's why I'm thinking like we have this, this, and this. And it's like, oh no, that's May because uh, I wrote it down on a calendar. So now I'm like, well, I wrote it down, so it's happening. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just thinking about some of that stuff coming up a little bit further down the pipeline too. Um, it's a good thing for May specifically. A little, uh, little spoiler for you guys. Um, we're gonna do our first Patreon poll. Oh yeah. Episode. So we're, we already have the first episode for May planned out, and then. The patrons are going to pick the next one. We're going to give you some choices, and you guys are going to pick. Um, so that's going to be fun. Yeah, too. and that, that'll go live probably in May. I mean, we probably won't post that too far ahead of time. No. Maybe at the end of April. End of April. Thing. Look for it end of April, uh, beginning of May. Um, and that'll be for every tier. So $2 yeah. and up. Everybody, get that. everybody that's on Patreon can 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 vote for that. So it's not it's not uh, paywalled. Put it that no. way. I mean, I, I mean, it is. I mean, it is, but yeah, but it's two dollars. Well, if you're on fucking Patreon, you're paying no, something. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. I, mean? I get what you're saying. So yeah, just um, to clarify, yeah. in case someone's like, "Hey, uh, you said there was no paywall. <laughs> How come I can't vote? Uh, why? Even just to fuck with you, there'd be at least one." Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, Dusty. We'll, we're finally pulling. We're the finally doing on. a fucking poll. I feel like Dusty, you've been asking us. You were one of the first patrons. <laughs> you've been asking us for a few years now. Yes, we're doing it. Well, we weren't sure how we wanted to do it because it yeah, was like, yeah. do we like, do we just let them pick anything? Do we just let them throw out ideas and and then we pick one from that? But no, we're gonna give you. That's how you get Batman and Robin. Joe. That's how you get Batman and Robin. <laughs> so 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 we're I'm gonna happy. We're, 
<laughs> we're going to give, give, give you a list yes. of, I think, four or five. and then well, They'll have a theme. Pick. Yeah, well, That's it, what we think, at least. Yes, it will be themed. And it's all movies that we want to do. Yeah, so that'll yeah, be yeah. fun. So um, none of the what options you pick are bad. It's just, no. what are they? It's You'll just, what is out. it? And that's kind of fun to see. And it's kind of cool to gauge like what you guys are kind of yeah. into on Patreon. So. That's true. That's pretty sweet. Um, what, feel, what, what poison they want to pick. Yes. I feel uh, like ho- they, hopefully a one that came off the shelf, I hope. <laughs> we'll find out. They all come off the shelf. Well, Even uh, Batman and Robin. It's all right. Well, they come off your shelf because you bought the VHS. I ain't buying no fucking VHS of that. Well, I, well, I don't even have Batman Forever and I actually like that movie. You're the one fucking championing for it. I have Batman and Robin in there. Me and Matt Curione, he doesn't even know. <laughs> His ears are ringing right now. He doesn't even know I'm bringing them up. He's not listening. I mean, if he is, let me know, Matt. DM me. <laughs> Love you, by the way. We'll see. Um, and your dog. Yes. And your husband. You know, let's give the whole, uh, the whole group a little Give a little big hug. Yeah. Carlo and, and Matt yes. and the fam. Yes. Mm-hmm. For, for <laughs> anyone in the chat that gives a shit about our friend Matt. Uh, I give anyway, a shit. I, I, I care. He's, I care. He's a good friend. Um, on that note, I know you're trying to wrap it up. I'm going off on these wacky no, side No, you're digits. totally good. I think there was something else I, I wanted to say, but I don't know if I can remember anymore. Uh, well, Mark Strauss is here to, uh, to remind you, Joe, with a $2 super chat. I was saying, sorry, he's got to bounce. Appreciate all your hard work. I guess The Rock finally is going down the entrance. Oh, there it goes. The entryway. Yeah, there it goes. So, got it, the got Rock's bounce. match yeah. is starting soon. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mark. Really appreciate that. Um, yeah, I think that's it. If you think of it later, just post about it or something. Yeah, if it's super post about important. it or something. Yeah, but we got a lot of fun stuff coming up, so stay tuned. Um, I know that this month, uh, you know, April is very, uh, we have, um, there's no horror stuff. But there's a lot of fun stuff know. to talk about, so uh, stay tuned for May because there will be horror stuff. Yeah, I guess I was kind of saying that earlier. Again, yeah. we've, we said it on the show before we even started the yeah. season with Cool Runnings. Uh, it is our bread and butter, but we like to mix it up. And no, sure. These are just films that, again, they have meaning to us, and there was also just the crib video uh, uh, element attached to those two also. Yeah, but also, like, Heavyweights is fucking great. We were going to cover them eventually anyway. Yeah, and yeah. Harry and the Hendersons, we've been, we've been talking about doing Bigfoot stuff for a while, so I was like, fuck you it, have, yeah. pulling the trigger. Um, There's a few more you've mentioned in the past. We got to eventually. Oh get yeah, to. Little Bigfoot and Night of the Demon. You knew and instantly. Boggy Creek and fucking. There, there's so many. Uh, but we're gonna be talking. We're, we're gonna be talking about that in on that, that episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so that's gonna be fun. Uh, got some alien stuff too. Shh, don't tell anybody. Coming up oh, later. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. talk to him about it. I forgot to tell him, um, or ask him, or you know, it'll be fine. And it's gonna be fun, fine and fun, as they say. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you're going to be into it. <laughs> oh, I, I better now after that setup. I think we did talk about it. We I, did. I, I mean, I'm sitting here thinking. I haven't told him yet. We literally had the conversation like three hours ago. About what? About a, something alien related. Oh, it wasn't that. It was something else. Oh, okay. Then I don't know. Yeah. No, I you. I think you do know. But once I say it, you'll be like, oh. Anyway. Right. As soon as the camera turns off, yeah. we, we, have, we have seen it clear. <laughs> Uh, but yes, uh, thank thanks for for hanging out yeah. on this WrestleMania Sunday again. They didn't really plan it that way, even though they announced those things like a year in advance. Uh, we kind of just were like, "Hey, how's Sunday look?" Yeah, we're free. wasn't get, wasn't fucking thinking about <laughs> WrestleMania at all. Didn't even cross my mind. Was just like, "Hey, we're free. Let's let, do let, it." Let us know in the comments yeah. if you've made it this far. If you watch WrestleMania instead of this live show, let us know how you enjoyed it, or if you were here during the live show instead of WrestleMania. If you watched both. Let if you watch know. both, yeah. yeah, you got the whole peanut butter and chocolate. You know the most basic uh, <laughs> thing I we always go back to, uh, celery and peanut butter. There you go, mix it up a little. Mm, with the raisins, yeah, yeah, yeah. The ants on a log. Yeah. Never really liked it, but it's it's a thing. It's a healthy question mark it's, it's snack. A, yeah, yeah, definitely a question mark <laughs> snack. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much, Dumbs Dwellers. Thanks for hanging out, guys. We really appreciate it. Hope you had a great night on Sunday. Hope you have a great week this week. Um, thanks so much for all your support. Thanks for listening. Thanks for sharing everything. Uh, thanks for showing up and, and talking to us and saying hi. And we, we, we appreciate it so much that you guys listen to the show and, and that you love it. And uh, everybody on Patreon, if you're, if you're watching here and you're on Patreon, thank you for being a patron. And just thanks for supporting us and thanks for supporting the show. Oh, one last thing. I don't want to keep harping on it, <laughs> but we are up for a Rondo oh, award. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually we're, a serious thing. It's a, it, yeah, we are up for a Rondo Hatton Award. Um, if you have not voted, please... Uh, there's a link on our Instagram. You can go to rondoaward.com and follow it there. It's email only. If you right. have not voted yet, make sure you email um, uh, whatever that email whatever is. Whatever the email yeah. is. It's like uh, Carico something or other. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm blanking on it right now because I'm just. Well, you're not looking at the I'm thing not looking reading at it. it. I mean, let's be real. 
but go go there vote vote for us please we're in the uh best podcast category um and when you write the email make sure you put your name so you know dola scola uh best podcast and then movie dumpster and then that's all you have you that's all you have to do. If you just want to vote for us, that's fine. There's a whole sh- uh, 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 what the roster fuck? of different I was going to say roster, but that's not the... Yeah, that is. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of our friends are in there and stuff um, and all different kinds of categories that you can vote for. So if you want to do that, that's great. But most importantly, best podcast, movie dumpster. If you can, please, we would really appreciate that because um, it'd be pretty fucking rad to, to, to win an award. And if we do win... It's because of you guys. Oh, it, that it, is it's true. you Literally. guys who are who are listening and love the show. That's how that's how that happens. So I guess that means something. That means a lot to us. So um so yeah. Uh we hope you have a great night and um we'll catch you on the next wrap up. Yes. And we cannot wait to uh we'll we'll see you well, I was gonna say we'll see you in April, but it is April, but we'll see you this week. <laughs> at the end of this week. We'll see you for talks on Tuesday and then we'll see you at the end of the week for uh heavyweights. And we'll see you in Philly. And we'll see you if in you Philly. can make it out. Yeah, if you can make it out on 420, we'll see you there. Smoke if you got them. Smoke them if you got them. Uh, I will. Very long before the show. (laughs) 